Goes on like a this. We can do this. Maybe. Woohoo! Yeah! It's not. Hey guys, my name is Wes. Welcome back to the channel. 2020 is over. Yay! <laughs> This is going to be my first video of 2021, and I'm going to pick up right where I left off on the 150cc Chinese scooter. And uh, I may or may not have bought some uh, stuff, and uh, I did some research to kind of influence my decisions, and uh, I think it was a good idea. But uh, we'll take a look at it, and you guys tell me what you think. So, stay tuned. Okay, this is where we left off. I took the carburetor off. And uh, I looked it over and I decided to buy, just buy a brand new carburetor. Um, it's really cheap, $20, $25, something like that. And, you know, when, you, when you're, it's a Chinese scooter, so it doesn't matter if you're getting made in China because that's where the whole thing was made. So, this is a... Stock replacement for GY6. I don't know uh, anything about the jetting. I might have a problem with jetting later, but um, let me show you a couple of reasons why I decided to go this way. I wanted to make a video of me uh, cleaning this carburetor, but first thing I noticed, let's see if I can find the one, is this one of these screws. Yeah, this one. It was like that when I seen it. I'm like, well, that's not cool. So I went to tighten it. What is all over this thing? Whatever. It's got schmoo all over it. But this, this screw is stripped out. That sucks. I mean, I could have put like a nut and bolt in here. Maybe remedied that. But also, I mean, so that's why I bought it. I mean, I just... Uh, let's just take this off and we'll take a look inside here. Okay. See now, this thing sat for a long time and it's actually not bad in here. You know, it's really not bad. But there's a bunch of other things that kind of made me decide to just buy a car. And, um... Like I thought this thing was some kind of automatic choke. That's what I said in the last video. And it's not. It's actually, you can see there's a the, the needle like on a, uh, the throttle barrel. It kind of uses vacuum to meter the fuel. It's actually working a little better now. That's kind of weird. But let's see if we can get a good shot inside there. This thing was moving really slow before. It's the first thing I noticed compared to this one. Yeah, it's almost an instant. This thing, it's not now, which is, of course, because I'm filming, but it was like taking a long time to go down. And I know, um, I watched a couple of guys. There's kits you can get, diaphragm kits. <clears throat> After uh, doing the research, I decided this would just be too much of a pain in the neck. So I just went and bought a new carburetor because for you know for a kit and everything you get. It's the same price as buying a brand new one, you know, and this, I got off of eBay, you know, and I got a 30 day warranty on it. So better hurry and get this thing on there and see if it works. So let's go over to the bike and we'll start putting this thing on. Okay. Cause I'm like a this. There's a couple of things, uh, comes with a new fuel filter. This uh, it's got new T for this pulse line here, and um, I think I'm just going to put it on right here, and the connector, and then uh, it's pretty easy to do really. There's the drain. This thing has a kind of a nicer drain. That's this. Oh, can you see this right here? This is the drain for the float bowl. Has a nice little 
screw aluminum screw down there that I'm going to use that instead of this so let's uh, just kind of cruise through this real quick so here we go <laughs> This part now we're struggling with some stupid clip. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's do the bottom stuff first. Hopefully, oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I'm gonna get to see you. Let's get this out. Shoot me. It's wasting though. Okay, I think I have everything back in order. Fuel line on, fuel cut off. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, some kind of electric fuel cut off. Throttles back on. Got the connector routed over here. Now this, <laughs> there's nothing plugged into this and I can't find anything. The CDI boxes are plugged in, the coil wires are all there. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of accessory this thing doesn't have, but so now let's uh put you up in the big tripod and uh maybe I'll try to start it. That sounds cool. Yep. Fingers crossed. Okay. Key on. Oh yes! Oh, it's staying running. Holy cow! Sounds really good. Listen to that sucker purr. Man, that was a good decision. I'm adjusting the aisle down. What do you say we put this thing all back together, huh? Get all this on, the seat on. What's that? That's a. What does that do? Oh, turn signal. Yeah. Put everything back together. It turns off. Hold on. Off, off. Oh, crap. I'm not going to let this place air out.
So I get you two. Oh yeah. Dang it. I can't get that screw in because this is uh, in the way. Oh yeah, an air filter. I gotta put that back on. The tire's a little flat. Okay, I'm gonna put the other side on and uh, and then yeah, we'll see what's up. Side. Oh, I need one more screw here. One second. Okay, my little random drawer full of screws here. This one looks good. There's a bunch of extra of these things. <laughs> all back together except for that yeah that lens that popped off there's some stuff missing inside the seat that little tray and uh, I think that's it everything else seemed pretty cool all right let's see if I can go for a test drive before it gets too dark all right let me uh, get a small amount of gear on because it is winter and it's cold, but the roads are pretty clear. Oh, wait, I gotta air up the tire. Oh no! A big ass truck's in the way. Come on. We can do this. Maybe. Woohoo! Yeah! Okay. Ooh, this thing sounds good. It's so smooth. easily uh, 30. Oh, I should have a helmet on. Oh, brakes are working good. Carburetor's working just fine. It's a little 
laggy, but I think it's from sitting. The carburetor's louder than the <laughs> The carburetor's louder than the exhaust. is going to be fun. I can't wait to drive this thing in the summer. Let's wait for some traffic. Oh, that's better. Can you see? Got headlights. Oh yeah! motorcycle oh my god it's freezing cold freezing cold yeah the front tire is a little flat too don't wreck Wesley well, this is just a test drive we'll do some maintenance change the oil uh, air up the tires maybe yeah that sounds like a good idea heck yeah man That's why I bought a new carburetor. I just put it on and I'm riding it. What's up, Garrett? Look, I got it running. If I can fit through here again. Whoa! Ah, I gotta push it so I don't smash it. Oh, it idles so quietly. Might have set the idle too low. Oh. Oh. Come on, you big fatty. This thing got away four or five hundred pounds. Oh, it's not. All right. There we go. I think I need to put some more screws in it or find some more I don't know but yeah there it is man still need some love I need a uh, definitely I want to change the oil uh, I want to check out the rear brake pads uh, maybe the front brakes I don't even know what it's got up there you know but yeah I think I got me a little uh, little grocery getter little uh something i don't know i don't know the gas gauge doesn't work i gotta figure that out maybe that's what that connector is it's missing some of the gas gauge but it doesn't affect the way it runs it runs really good so uh and jay if you're watching fixed it thanks my man oh, all right guys i think i'm gonna end it here so off to a good start for 2021 all right you guys take it easy I forgot.
No. It's a little floppy. Oh. Thought I'd be all slick and just put this in at the end of the video. No, I gotta drop the screw. And then this guy. Warning, use only the approved oil. I don't have all the screws to this. Like I said, almost all of them were missing. I'm just glad I had a bunch of screws lying around. What? What is going on? I have to figure that out. Yeah, I figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't lose that. Cool. 